Hi, it's Ray Seagrave here and thank you for watching and sharing this video. Now I help driving instructors just like you every day to become better trainers. I can help you if you are new to the driver training industry or perhaps you are currently working towards a part three test. I can also help if you are an experienced trainer looking to keep up to date with new training methods or develop new skills. I can help you grow and develop as a trainer to become more confident and importantly, achieve and maintain the high training standards the DVSA are looking for, not just on your standards check, but in your everyday driving lessons. So I thought in just a couple of minutes, I will give you one of my five must do's for delivering a great client-centered driving lesson. So keep watching this and my other videos for some great tips on how to be a better trainer. So here's training tip number one. In any client-centered training, it's crucially important to find out what your pupil thinks. Now, I know that sounds simple, but finding out what they think can massively help you coach them to find their own solution to a problem. That's so much more powerful than you telling them. Ask yourself, do you always know what your pupil is thinking at that time? The only way you are going to find out is by asking the right questions. You need to find out where their knowledge is, what they believe is happening, and what they think they could do to do a better job or to get a better result. Until you ask what they know or what they think, you are only assuming. Now there's a big problem with assuming. The problem is with assuming that no matter how well you know someone, and you might think you know them really well, you do not know what they are thinking at that time. And assuming may lead you completely down the wrong training path. Now, as helpful as you are trying to be, going down the wrong training path takes the training nowhere and takes it nowhere fast. When your training goes down the wrong direction, this can make the people feel frustrated with you, frustrated at the situation, frustrated at themselves, and frustrated with their progress. Dealing with the wrong things can also lead to lost training time, time that could be better focused on solving the real problem. So until you find out what your pupil knows about the topic or the subject, or the skill you are working on together, or the thing you are trying to help them fix. You do not know where the training or the starting point for the training or the learning is. Now I'm a visual person, so I describe this as being like a jigsaw puzzle, a big picture puzzle of what your pupil is trying to learn. You are helping them find and put all the pieces of the puzzle together. The pupil won't know what the final picture looks like, but as their trainer, you do. So you need to find out from them what pieces they already have and where they think they all fit. They might have some pieces missing, there might be a knowledge or misunderstanding or an understanding gap. You don't know they might be missing something until you ask the right questions. So being client-centered is about you helping your pupil find all the missing pieces of a puzzle until the big picture becomes clear to them. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Keep a look out for tip number two, which should arrive soon. In the meantime, if you would like some one-to-one -one training with me, uh, either over the phone or in the car, or just have a question, message me now by clicking the link on my Facebook training page. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.